Hey, listen up there, YouTube. Chip here with the Iconic Sports Cycle Motovlog. So, I'm on my way to work this morning and I wanted to take a minute and ride through. If straight up the road here is uh, the airport. Um, the perimeter road around the airport is kind of twisty. And I kind of wanted to highlight some of the things about this bike that makes a road like this a lot of fun. So, um, of course, it has <coughs> the inverted fork. Um, so, this has a less unsprung weight keeps a better contact patch on the road with your front tires has a dual disc brakes um, one of the, the key features about this bike is going to be the engine braking that comes from this 90 degree v-twin which I'll talk about here in a few minutes it's got the very strong trellis style frame um, so it's uh, it, you know it's a very rigid chassis so it, you know really kind of holds together well in the corners um, the other thing uh, you'll see it's got the alloy wheels 17 inch tires all the good stuff you'd normally expect from a sport bike or a sport naked bike. Um, it's got the uh, dual piston calipers up here, so so it's got good you know stopping power. You know I've heard uh, you know other reviewers say that the you know the braking on these bikes isn't all that great. Um, my 2008, um, uh, the earlier ones, they did not brake that well, but they they weren't bad either. They weren't as bad as a lot of the you know the reviewers made them out to be. Um, th these bikes are very controlled in the corner. Um, and I'll go, go over that here in just a minute. Um, so anytime you have a sport bike, sport naked, of course you got the disc brake in the rear as well. You'll find that, uh, you know, you got a short chassis, you know, you, you know the, the bike, the seat height is a little bit higher than a lot of bikes because, you know, you need those lean angles. Um, but, you know, this is, uh, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this bike. I love the way this bike looks. I, I love the Yosung, either the, the nakeds and the, and the full, uh, you know, full fared bikes. I think they're great looking bikes. Um, some of the reviewers say, hey, it's a dated bike because, you know, it's kind of been almost the same since the beginning. Um, I don't really see that as a bad thing because it's a great looking bike. Um, my bike has a few modifications. Of course, I've added the uh, chin spoiler. I've added the IXIL exhaust. Um, I've got my tech mount for my phone. Oh, I've added a, a box to carry carry some stuff, you know, to and from work. And the other thing is it makes a nice backrest for my wife when she, she rides. She likes to, to ride with me from time to time. Um, but I'm just going to take this bike, uh, like I said, down here, this, this road here, uh, is the perimeter road around the airport, um, it does have a lot of twists and turns. Now, I live in Florida, I don't have those nice uh, twisty mountain roads to, to run up and down, um, so that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem for a guy like me who likes to, to lean in the corner. Um, but, you know, there's a few places, and unfortunately I don't live far from here, in fact, you know, it's a little detour on my way to work, and it's, it's no big deal. Um, so the bike also, uh, you know, it's got the adjustable suspension. You got the adjustments up here, and then we have the adjustable preload on the rear shock. You know, you got the uh, you use the spanner wrenches back down and under here to uh, make your adjustments. Uh, but overall, you know, like I said, this is a great bike. I really enjoy it. Love the way it looks. Love the way it sounds. Love the way it feels. Um, as I'm going through, I kind of point out uh, some of the things of how this all works together to to make this a fun bike. Um, again, uh, I'm a Yo Yosung fan. Um, I think if you rode one, you'd probably understand why I, I, these bikes just don't get the respect they deserve. Um, I mean, come on, man. Look at this thing. It's gorgeous. Uh, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, just on my way to work, I have a few minutes to spare. Uh, bike, this bike down just has uh, 20, 30, I mean, 2,032 miles on it. Um, so it's just, it's just kind of just kind of getting broken in. Oh, and my friends at Wygo Stock, I get a lot of my parts there. Um, and they give me cool stuff like this. <laughs> so, I think my tech mount is a... I, I've actually had this mount on uh, probably the last four or five bikes I've had. I think it's a great thing to have. You don't have your phone handy. Be able to, you know, see if you're getting a call. If it's important, you can stop. Um, I don't have a uh, Bluetooth headset, so, you know, I'm not listening or talking on the phone while I'm riding. Nope. Here I'm coming in, coming into a corner, 5,500 RPM. I want you to see what happens. I let off the throttle, and you can hear this thing pulling down. These 90 degree V twins are, are are good for that, and they're great for coming off the corner. Um, reason being, now if you're on a four cylinder bike, you know you got to get up in the high RPMs for it to, you know, it's going to be screaming to do that. Uh, a 90 degree V twin, um, it has great pulling off of the corner. Like I said, as soon as you let off the throttle, you hear that uh, engine brake and it starts to pull it down. So you're using less trail braking, you're using less braking altogether.
but you see you've let off the throttle engine braking so I'm, I haven't had to hit the brakes yet now of course uh, you know you have to do a little trail braking at time keep your tail tucked now of course I'm not giving riding lessons here but I'm just kind of po pointing out some of the features about this bike that I enjoy and why uh, why I find it so fun to ride um, you know, comfortable riding position, the knees tuck in nice. Um, the, for me, the, the naked bike is better, you know, the riding triangle is better for an old guy like me. Uh, of course, I had a neck injury last year, so this is making it uh, even better. Now, as you can see, today they are expecting some rain. Uh, they're expecting some, like, late morning uh, rain, but it's supposed to be gone by the afternoon, so maybe wash some of the dust off. Uh, cloud covers uh, kind of... Well, yeah, kind of eerie, I guess. But just uh, you know, coming in, 5,500 RPM, coming into the corner, let off the throttle, and you can see the uh, RPM starts to drop. The engine brake and starts to pull the bike down. Oh, by the way, 90 degree V twins. They sound awesome going off of a corner or when you're engine braking. Now, um, I've owned uh, this is my second Yosung, and in between there, I owned a Suzuki SV650. Now, my Suzuki SV650. Uh, was uh, well actually uh, Yosung worked with Suzuki to uh, develop that bike um, so you know they're very similar in a lot of ways now my Suzuki I thought was a really good looking bike it was the S model had the dual headlights it was this fantastic um, kind of bronzy orange color um, so I really liked the bike it had a Delkovic effect the bike was a track bike when I bought it and I just started driving it on the street. It had a full Delcovic exhaust, tuner, you know, K&N, all that, you know, good stuff. All, everything was wired up, you know, all the, uh, you know, safety wiring. So you hear the downshift there, how easily that pulls down. And you can see how, you know, well controlled it is in the corner. It doesn't get loose, even, you know, with the, you know, hit, I mean, this isn't a really smooth road. There's some bumps on here. So it absorbs the bumps really well. And if you could just heard that, I don't know if you heard that. These things, well, of course, I have the IXL exhaust on there. Um, and I do have the uh, Disciple Killer out. So, uh, you know, it shouldn't be any surprise to anybody that it has this great sound to it. But it has that nice burble and pop when you're downshifting. But I just kind of wanted to cover that with you this morning, guys. Um, again, I really love these bikes. I, I specifically love this bike. I've had other Yosungs. I've I've looked at many before I purchased this one. Um, actually, got a pretty good deal on this one. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm wearing my GP Inc. bike. Oh, let's see any. Uh, so I get Craigslist uh, <laughs> updates when everybody, anytime somebody posts a Yosung for sale. Yeah, I'm kind of sick that way. Um, but uh, the GP Inc. Uh, gloves I'm wearing, I got those from the local. Um, Oh, Yosung dealer, they're in Melbourne, Florida. Um, I didn't buy my bike there, but I have bought many, much of my riding gear there. There are a bunch of cool guys. And if you live in the lo local area and you want to look at some Yosungs, you know, they, like I said, they are good guys. Uh, they treat me real well when I go in there to buy riding gear. They've given me free t shirts and all kinds of good stuff. So, uh, you know, I highly recommend them. Um, but, guys, this is Chip from the Iconic Sports Cycle Motovlog. I'll be talking to you real soon. Bye.